M0, FXB, Alinco, DJ, X100 in GPS display mode. Look how fantastic that looks. You get your location, all the satellites here, and they actually have numbers on them. Also, the frequency that you're monitoring, you can still scan, you can go in memory mode. You've got all this information, as you can see, and it does say GPS, and we do have a GPS lock. Now you can also change the grid so you can receive your AIS information from the boats, from the shipping information. So all you do is to select GPS mode, this screen, it's really easy. You just press set. And no mine's in Japanese, but it doesn't matter because it's the first selection. Just press five is your enter button. Now remember, two and eight and six and four are up, down, right and left. Five is enter, and then you pay, numbers three and four are your pages up and down, so you can change the page that you're viewing. So all we have to do on this one, we just press set, then enter, and you can see there's a bit of a telltale sign here that it actually says there, if I move that out of the way, it actually says GPS, okay? And so when we select that, we get the GPS display screen. But if we go up one above it and then press enter, look, we can now, we're going to now see, and now we're not receiving any information here at the moment, 161.975. But if we were, what would populate here, and it is, the screen is timing out, what would populate here are all the different ships that are moving around. We need to go into AIS mode and just press mode and press again, enter. So that's not it. Let's go back one. So all you do is press it again, set. And then go across, and press enter first, five. Then go across, press enter, you go into the ship mode. But if you want to go press mode, go down to the third one, enter, AI, AIS, enter. We're now in proper AIS mode. But what we need to receive is some signals from the ships. So I'll go out tomorrow and I'll, you know, see if I can get some signals, see if all the little ships appear up here. But it's fascinating, isn't it? Of course, you can still scan, watch. We're still scanning. And we can stop scanning. And we can go into VFO mode, we can scan our, our memories. Sorry, not VFO, I meant memory mode. There you go, back to scan. And it's fast. And we can change the screen colour, it doesn't have to be this colour. Look at all that. There's Airband. And we're inside the house here. And you've got these little controls here as well. Which we haven't learned how to use yet. <laughs> There's a repeater, GB3ZB, back to Hubnet. And if you want to go back to normal screen, press the set, enter, go to the top, enter, back to a normal screen, and then carry on scanning. And squelch is just press the function, and then the Squelch, and you can adjust the squelch. Volume is is the one underneath, and channel change. Bye for now. All the best.